have found a bug, a pest on your beautiful plant. It's heartbreaking. You panic. Don't panic. You can treat it. So today I'm sharing how to treat mealybugs, okay? I just found some mealybugs on this plant. So we're gonna treat it together today. You wanna watch? You wanna learn? You wanna enjoy? Keep on watching. We found some pests. So here's a mealybug. Do you wanna see a close up on what it looks like? That's a mealybug. Sorry, it's starting to rain here and got, got in windy. That's a mealybug. Okay? So what you do, don't panic and cry. I've done that. Don't do it. <laughs> it can't be treated. So look, this is a very good idea. I just went ahead and put some Q-tips with alcohol. So you have them handy and ready. You don't have to go get the bottle of alcohol and put some drops in a Q-tip. It's gonna work. So you have them ready because it's gonna happen from time to time, okay? So you get a Q-tip, nice white Q-tip. You see when it touches the actual um, mealy book, it changes color. <gasps> it's dead. So that's what I think. Grab it. Uh -huh. So satisfying. Oh, oh, yes. I gotcha. Nice. Look, it changes color. Isn't that interesting? So I feel like it's dead now, so that's good. I don't have to worry about these babies going somewhere else. Um, like if like if I throw it in my trash can, it shouldn't come back alive, right? It's dead. That's what I'm thinking. That's what my husband tells me. Because I panic, you know? Okay, so let's do another one. Let's check. That's where it was easy to see, so let's keep looking on this same stem, I guess, or tree. Let's see. Can you see any more? Gotta look closely. Any white spots? No. 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 You wanna look, you know, sometimes in here. No, okay. Let's turn it around. No, so yeah, I think we're getting it at the beginning. That's not it, but I just put some a little white spot, but I don't think that was it. Okay, so that's awesome. We got it at the beginning, so it's less scary. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know, sometimes you gotta check for mealybugs, like where the new leaf might be forming. They like to sometimes eat the new babies. But they're fine. So guys, this one's droopy, but I feel like... Oh, no. You see it's like the tree separates from here, it branches out to different like this it doesn't it? Or is it this no. Just a bit and, and I, this shot up so quickly so fast and it seems to be like this new leaf is growing so big that it's the weight flaps it over like this. But I don't know. I don't know. I almost feel like I have to stake it now. But if you guys have any tips or any ideas why it's doing that, let me know. Because what did I say? Did it need water? I don't think it needs water, so it's not that. Well, maybe it's looking for the light. That's what we were kind of discussing, but it might be looking for the light. Anyhow, because um, basically there's a window here where I have it. There's like a window here, so we think he might be reaching for the light. So maybe I have to do some kind of, I haven't been switching it like I should be. That's another thing that's recommended and that I have done for especially the other one, is that from time to time, you've got to switch it or change the angle a little bit so they can get that sun bright light sun um indirect sun in different areas so it can kind of grow more even okay so i'm going to move to my house really quickly and i found this one organic gardening neem oil this one comes already with a mix i was using the one i have to mix but i know it doesn't last for very long um and you have to go and mix it so my husband came home with this the other day and i've tried it already it hasn't killed my plants it actually did help for the neem oil for the mealy box so this one's supposed to treat different things spider mites white flies powdery mildew and rust of course right now we're dealing with uh mealy box and it's not on here is it <laughs> but we know it helps because i've been using neem oil for my mealy box so interesting i guess we're under other pests here <laughs> 
Okay, so what, that's it. We're gonna spray her down. Let's do a little mix just in case. Spray, 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 spray. You, you can even spray the, the, the soil because I can help if there's any babies trying to hatch there. See, I'm trying to get the stem here because that's where the sometimes the mealy bugs like to hide. Getting this one really good. I'm gonna go wash my hands after this. The oil has this smell that's not the greatest. those things overpower. You see, trying to get underneath the leaves and trying to get above the leaves. You know, just, just try to get it wet. No, you don't have, somebody asked me once, do you have to dry it after your spray? No. I'm going to let it sit here. I guess you could if it still stays damp with the, but I'm gonna leave it here. I'm gonna let it aerate for a few hours. I would just rather it dry like this, and then the next day or the other, I can shine up the leaves. Okay, I'm getting the smell. It's not that impressive, but it works. Okay, so this is a little tip on how to take care of your plants when the pests arise. that I have used personally and I can recommend because I've used them and they've worked. There's lots of products out there, but um, the ones I've stuck to is basically neem oil. You can buy one that uh, like this at basically Lowe's, most, most likely Walmart, um, online. So I kind of just chose one that said that it was um, organic gardening because in my mind, I guess it's less toxic chemicals for me. <laughs> That's what kind of what I'm worried about. Um, so this one treats all different kinds of different kinds of bugs. Um, so I know neem oil is good for um, mealy bugs like we talked about today. So that's basically my go-to for uh, mealy bugs. Okay. So I'll put the description in the description a link to one of these. But like I said, you can find them pretty easily at any store. Um, and then before I bought this pre-mixed already, I was doing my own mixture, okay? So I got this from Amazon. It's just cold pressed neem oil. And um, you get more you bang for your buck if you buy it like this concentrated because you can make a lot more bottles out of this. Basically, you're going to squeeze out. You see how thick it is? It's, it's an oil, so when it's not hot, it gets um, chunky like this. So what I've done is I kind of squeeze out and I will put it in a glass little, um, in a little um, cup and I'll put it in the microwave so it can melt a little bit for a few seconds. Usually just like a little teaspoon. And then I put it on a bottle. I pour it in the bottle. Um, it has a spray thingy. Um, got those few drops of all the neem oil and you put just a little, a little, little, of uh, some kind of uh, soap, dishwasher soap. So I use Dr. Bonner's, it's highly recommended. It's non-toxic, no chemicals. So I just kind of do it. I know it won't harm the plant either, but I think you can use any, uh, just about any kind of dishwashing soap. But I would be stay away from the ones that have all these ingredients that can be kind of harsh. So that's why I stick to something like this. I do a little squirt, I mix it with water, mix it, and then, you know, you spray. And no, it doesn't harm your plants and doesn't, you don't have to dry it. Um, so it's easy. Um, although from what I've heard, I think is if it's in a clear container, it kind of lose its properties and its strength after a few days. So if I had an amber uh, darker bottle, it would probably stay for longer. So that's something you can invest in and I should invest in, but I haven't yet. Um, so usually what I do, once I do a mixture, I will spray all my plants and basically use up <laughs> the bottle. And then when I'm ready to really treat a plant, I can do a new mix. So basically that's what um, I've done for my mealy bugs and hopefully this information helps, okay, for you too when you have to deal with mealy bugs. It's a very, very common bug. Okay, hopefully you enjoyed this video and if you did, please press the like button and um, don't forget to subscribe. That way you can see more um, helpful videos and maybe enjoyable videos to you too. Okay, bye, have a great day.